Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the PXHIPA64.SYS is preventing you from actually enabling memory integrity on your Windows 11 computer. So if you're having this incompatible driver issue, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match recommend or registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And now that that's out of the way, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for a current control set. Same thing for a control. And now there should be a folder in here that says device guard. And double click on it. Should be a scenarios folder in here as well. Just double click on that. And there should be a hypervisor enforced code integrity key in here. If you do not see one, what I'm highlighting over or hovering over right now, you would have to create it. So in order to create that key, you right click on the scenarios folder, select new, and then select key. And you would name that key hypervisor enforced code integrity. And then on the right side, if you already see a value in here, it says enabled. As a D word value, you would double click on it. You would set the value data to the number one, a numerical one, and then select OK. Now, if you just created this folder, there would be no values over here on the right side, so you'd have to create this value. So you just would right click again once you have this folder selected that we just created, the hypervisor enforced code integrity, assuming you didn't have it in here. And you would right click in a blank area on the right side, select new, and then D word 32 bit value. You would name it enabled, and then you would double click on it, and again, you would set the value data to one. Base should be hexadecimal, and then select OK. And then once you're done with that, you would need to restart your computer in order for the changes to take effect. So go ahead and restart your computer at this time. And then hopefully at this point your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.